All right, so I just got done watching the Buffalo Bills LA Rams game where Buffalo Bills, well, let's face it, basically beat the Rams in the first and second half throughout the game. They beat them 31 to 10. And yeah, this is honestly the second worst performance for a Super Bowl winning team. A point only behind Joe Flacco's Ravens back in 2013 when they took on Peyton Manning's Denver Broncos. They lost the game 22 points. The LA Rams lost this game 21 points. And looking at the Bills' performance, it was definitely all motors go for Josh Allen in his game. And with the addition of some new players and with the addition of a shit-wrecking defender in Von Miller, their defense... Looks stouter than it did last year when they lost to Kansas City in the divisional round. So, they tightened up on defense. They're still firing on all cylinders on offense. They've got Jamison Crowder to compete with Isaiah McKenzie, who, by the way, cost Josh Allen an interception in the first half. Yeah, one of those interceptions Josh Allen had wasn't his fault. Isaiah McKenzie just let it bounce off his chest as he was sliding to the ground. It ended up in the hands of an L.A. Rams defender. But the questions for L.A. Matthew Stafford doesn't look the same, obviously. He got some injector shots, was told not to throw the ball for sizable periods. So that had an effect on his game tonight. But even with that in mind, when you look at L.A. and you look at the talent they've lost in Von Miller, Odell Beckham Jr. and other guys for a stout offense and defense, looking at this game and looking at what each team is going to go up against the rest of the season, because we get a rematch with Los Angeles with the Buccaneers upcoming this season after we play the Dallas Cowboys and the New Orleans Saints and all those teams. Looking at L.A., they're not the same team that won a Super Bowl last year. So, without that complimentary wide receiver to go up with Cooper Cup and make defenders have to defend him, and without Von Miller in your defensive lineman to give Aaron Donald and Leonard Floyd and other Rams players good plays in order to make sacks and create havoc in the backfield. They got Bobby Wagner, sure. He's coming from Seattle, but even with Bobby Wagner calling the shots and leading the linebacking core defense, losing Von Miller was pretty critical for the LA Rams because they weren't able to get Josh Allen for most of the game. They weren't able to get a decent pass rush off him. They got cornerbacks and free safeties just coming down the line when Josh Allen's throwing bombs to Stefan Diggs, who caught a 50-yard touchdown and came down rolling into the end zone. He beat Jalen Ramsey there. One of the best corners in the league, too. Yeah, so when you got... An inferior offense to last year and an inferior defense who couldn't help their team at all. I mean, yeah, they got like four turnovers in the game. But look, when you look at turnover differential, it doesn't really matter. It's all about if your offense can't make points, what the fuck do those turnovers mean? And how long can you rely on the defense before it inevitably breaks down? That's where Buffalo's got them beat. The turnover difference in points scored. And for all the mistakes that Buffalo made, LA made the worst once tonight. And the questions going forward for them is, how do they address all the lingering questions with Matthew Stafford, their weakened defense, the fact that Cooper Cup won't be able to have an explosive guy like Odell Beckham Jr. around to put pressure off of him. Their running game still hasn't improved. I mean, Daryl Henderson got like 50-plus yards on the night, 
big whoop. And part of that being from when they were down three scores late in the fourth quarter against Buffalo. Buffalo was just have, left, letting them have those yards. What do you do then if you're Sean McVay and you spent the, fat, the past five seasons having a 1-0 and record after one week, having 82 games where you're not under 500 being shattered, what do you do then? What do you basically do when you're going up against teams that you know you can beat, but you'll find it harder to do with your offense and defense? And I think the big question for Buffalo is, with their new improved passing options in Jamison Crowder to compete against Isaiah McKenzie, and with a stellar defense, it begs the question, why couldn't Buffalo beat Kansas City last year? And what will we expect out of this year? Because I know Buffalo is going to win the AFC East division because looking at the guys they play, the New York Jets, they're just going to be the Jets. Tua Tagovailoa, he might have a good season, but you know he's going to make a wild card round at best. And with the New England Patriots... The New England Patriots are not the same team without Tom Brady. We saw that happen when the Patriots got blown out by the Buffalo Bills in last year's wild card round. So, don't expect them to win the division anytime soon against this stacked Buffalo team. So, Buffalo's going to win the AFC East this year. So, where do they go from here? My prediction is they make it all the way up to the conference championship, go up against a t rough and tough team like Kansas City. They'll hopefully learn from last year's 13 seconds that got them an overtime loss. And their defense will step up, take them finally to a Super Bowl, and they'll probably have to face someone like, I don't know, maybe Green Bay, Dallas, Tampa, depending on how the season goes for us with Tom Brady and his new weapons such as Julio Jones and Russell Gage and all that. And Cade Auten to replace Rob Gronkowski as the starting tight end. So, Buffalo could go conference championship or Super Bowl appearance. That's where I see Buffalo at. With the LA Rams... At best, I see him as modest wild card, but with the way Matt Stafford performed tonight, I don't think they're going to get over that hump at 9 and 8. They might, they might be 9 and 8, but I'd expect 7 10 out of them if not a full collapse and going 5 and 12. That's where I see them at. So overall, Questions that need to be addressed on both sides. And it seems Buffalo might have the answers. But with LA, it's going to be looking like a grim future for them.